Colorado's Labor Department says there have been just as many fraudulent claims for unemployment benefits as valid ones. And it says that's impacting its ability to help those who really need the money. Our Sean Chitten is live tonight with more on how the department is explaining these big challenges, Sean. Well, Jim, they say that the evidence is clear and that Colorado is actually among one of the states with the most number of cases. And that's why they're having to put more effort and resources toward trying to stop and control all of this fraud. But of course, we keep hearing from so many people who say they're just trying to get those unemployment benefits and they're still having trouble claiming that money. Leandro Gonzalez was working in the restaurant industry last year when he had to file for unemployment in September. Months later, he still has trouble getting regular benefits. It's a pandemic right now, and uh, everybody's out here struggling, you know, whether they got laid off from work or whatnot. The Colorado Department of Labor and Employment has explained a new system created delays for making payments, and a gap in funding from the federal government also set them back. But fraud is another challenge. As you would imagine, the amount of resources and time that goes into fraud detection, fraud prevention, and uh, investigation and enforcement is competing with our main mission is getting out benefits to people who really need financial assistance. While CDLE has received more than a million legitimate claims for unemployment, it says another million cases could potentially be fraud. And a large majority of claims they flagged haven't been challenged. Prove to them they're fraud. We know it's a, a priority of ours to make sure that we, we can handle that, but um, we're working on that. They've increased the numbers of factors checking for fraud from 5 to 50 before approving a claim. We're all out here and trying to trying to get by and, and, and get our what was what was rightfully earned and they keep saying to wait 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 and we wait patiently and there's nothing so cdle says it's really important for people to continue reporting cases of fraud that they experience for their own benefit but also to hopefully stop someone from stealing another person's identity they're also asking that these reports happen online the phone lines that they have open are primarily for people calling in with valid claims of unemployment and they're not able to handle those cases of fraud live tonight in downtown denver sean Janus covering colorado first